doing? Yeah, Sheldon, you're looking at a live scenario right now. You know, we all do this. We turn on our space heaters. Sometimes we get a little too close. Sometimes we get our blankets too close. I'm here with Captain Phil Lopez. How often do you see this happen? I know we had a case, I think it was just last night, a six-year-old boy's uh, room was uh, engulfed in smoke and flames. That's right. Uh, about two nights ago, we had the uh, room catch on fire. And uh, it happens quite often. Uh, nationally, I think it happens about 25,000 times a year with these space heaters. You know, I was telling someone earlier, I'll be honest, uh, I turn on my space heater, I put my blanket on my feet, and I primarily use it to warm my feet. I get my feet a little close to that space heater. Am I putting myself in danger? Sometimes we think, you know, we just want to be a little toasty. Is that dangerous? Uh, definitely. They have a, a kids free zone, they call it. They want to stay three feet away from these space heaters, and you want to maintain that. Also, you want to keep it on a hard surface as well. We're watching this thing smoke. I, I think this was, uh, you know, lit, what, three, four minutes ago, and now it looks like it's turning into a full-fledged fire. You know, people may not think that this is something that can happen quickly. How quickly can something like this happen, and what is the warning that you give to folks? It's amazing. Uh, outside here, how fast it caught on fire. Could you imagine inside a house where it's confined in a heated area? It's going to catch up really quick. Um, also, they... Uh, <clears throat> They fall over really easy, so you want to be aware of that, and they'll uh, land on anything flammable or combustible. You want to watch out for that. What do you think, though, about people, you know, sometimes they have those blankets really close, they have the pillow close, and they don't think anything of it. They may step out of the room for a minute. You know, how quickly can this situation turn from, you know, not so serious to for real serious? Uh, very serious. Again, as you've seen, this thing caught on fire in just a couple minutes. So anytime you leave the room, you want to shut it off, and definitely you want to have a smoke detector in that room and in the rest of your house. However, if something does happen and, you know, something does catch on fire, that's why we have you, SAC Metro Fire, to come and put it out. So hopefully your guys can put it out because it looks like it's turning into a full-fledged fire. Uh, definitely, yeah, we'll have them get right on it right now. So. Do you see this happen a lot in the uh, in the winter season? Uh, definitely, uh, especially these uh, next few months, it happens quite a bit. And again, nationally, uh, on average, 25,000 fires are associated with that type of heater alone in the United States. All right, Captain, we thank you so much. Now, one thing I want to point out to you, Paul and Bethany, yeah, that's Christina Werner's uh, <laughs> space heater that we use <gasps> as an example. So if she's watching this morning, Christina, don't worry. We have you a brand new space heater. But this is a serious situation. <laughs> that we certainly want our viewers to be aware of. So if you crank those space heaters up at night, you know, be cautious that this could turn into a serious situation and you could have a fire on your hands. Yeah, it did look familiar to you. <laughs> uh, our, our studios, uh, some areas are colder than others, and the weather center is not particularly warm. So Christina's always got that, well, always did have that one going over there. But, well, it's a new day for Christina. You'll see her in a big furry coat tonight. <laughs> 741 coming up. In